Hey there, crypto fans, and welcome to Altcoin Radar. This is a place where we can all learn about the many different cryptocurrencies and altcoins so that we know what we're putting our money into. So guys, if this sounds like something that you're interested in, then go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to my channel so that you can see my new videos on a weekly basis. Now, I know that this style of video might be kind of boring, but if we want to learn you guys, we gotta, then we gotta do some research into these projects. I mean, there's no way around it. So today, we're gonna learn all about Tezos and uh, the project behind the name. So we're gonna take a look at it. All right, guys, so Tezos is currently ranked number 19 on uh, CoinMarketCap. Um, currently, it's trading for $2.96. Uh, this coin has uh, gotten quite a bit of uh, popularity, has gained quite a bit of popularity in, at least in the U.S. anyway. And we're going to take a look at it and see, you know, what it is and what it's all about, because that's why you're here, right, to learn. So let's do some research. All right. So to coin market cap, Tezos is a blockchain network that's based on smart contracts in a way that's not too dissimilar to Ethereum. However, there's a big difference. Tezos aims to offer infrastructure that is more advanced, meaning it can evolve and improve over time without there ever being a danger of a hard fork. This is something that both Bitcoin and Ethereum have suffered since they were created. People who hold XTZ, Tezos, can vote on proposals for protocol upgrades that have been put forward by Tezos de developers. This open source platform bills itself as secure, upgradable, and built to last, and says its smart contract language provides the accuracy that is required for high-value use cases. According to Tezos, its approach means that it is future-proof and will remain state-of-the-art long into the future, meaning it can, it can embrace developments in blockchain technology. The technology underpinning Tezos was the first proposed in a white paper that was released in September 2014 after a series of delays. The Tezos mainnet launched four years later. So, what makes Tezos unique? Although staking is common across blockchains, Tezos has a unique twist in the, on this process. Participants can get involved with the network's governance through baking, where they effectively stake 8,000 XTZ. This creates a financial incentive to act honestly. Bakers are then tasked with voting on proposed changes to the blockchain's code in a four-step procedure that takes approximately 23 days. Proposals that receive support from the vast majority of participants are put through their pay, uh, paces on a testnet for, 20, for 48 hours and are fully implemented if they are backed by a supermajority. Tezos is also unique because of how it uh, because of how it has started to be used by high-profile businesses. In September 2020, it was announced that the French banking giant Societe Generale planned to use this blockchain for experimenting with a central bank digital currency. Ah, uh, that's pretty big. That's pretty big news. Big cryptocurrency exchanges such as Binance and Coinbase have also unveiled support for Tezos staking, meaning users can receive rewards based on XTZ that they hold. This is, you know, that's that's a pretty good idea. You know, I mean, what what better than, you know, it's 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 a lot better than putting your money into, I mean, at least in the United States anyway, it's a lot better than putting your money into a CD and only earning what like 1, 2, 3% a year. Um, you know, if you're putting your money in, you know, you can put it in XTZ and hold it, and you know you're gonna earn. You're pretty much gonna earn, you know, interest or whatever every single year. So that's that's a pretty good deal, honestly. Uh, this is not a future that's seen too wildly across digital assets. So uh, I know there's other coins that you're able to do that too, but Tezos seems to be. I mean, as as we looked before, it's currently number ranked number 19. It's pretty popular. So that's you know. I wouldn't have any any problem putting my money into this coin. Um, I don't right now, but because uh, I obviously don't know what it is yet fully. Um, but I would not mind it by the sounds of it so far. So we're going to take a look at their website. Before we take a look at this website, um, there's something I want to say first. So I am guessing that this website is white. Um, they just seem like that kind of company that like 
everything on their website is probably like all clean and minimal, like a modern contemporary house in LA or something like that. I don't know. I'm just assuming here. I'm just being judgmental. So let's check it out. Is it white? Oh, <laughs> go figure. Typical. Oh, that's too funny. Okay, so let's take a look at Tezos, the website, and see what the see what their website says. Secure, upgradable, and built to last. Tezos is an open source platform for assets and applications backed by a global community of validators, researchers, and builders. All right. Tezos addresses key barriers facing blockchain adoption to date, smart contract safety, long-term upgradability, and open participation. Secure institutional-grade smart contracts. Tezos is designed to provide the safety and code correctness required for assets and other high-value use cases. Its native smart contract language, Michelson, facilitates formal verification, a methodology commonly used in mission-critical environments such as the aerospace, nuclear, and semiconductor industries. All right. Upgradable to the state of the art, Tezos's modular architecture and formal upgrade mechanism allow the network to propose uh, and adopt new technological innovations smoothly as they emerge. These aspects, combined with Tezos' on-chain invoicing mechanism, enable the protocol to remain the state of the art long into the future without sacrificing community consensus. Wow, this is a lot of reading. I don't want to read all this to be to be honest with you guys. Um, so I'm really not going to, but that's, that's a lot of wording for one portion of the page. Holy cow. Um, anyway, this, uh, I do want to add this, this, this seems to, uh, like, like the actual behind the scenes type of stuff. This, this project seems way too technological for somebody like me. Um, it doesn't seem like, you know, your typical average Joe would be really interested in, you know, what this coin is all about, but you know, for the purpose of my channel, since my channel is all about us learning together and us learning about all of these different types of coins and what they do, you know, we're just going to keep on with it and keep going and keep figuring this out. So uh, Tezos updates, uh, all these are just past updates that they've had. Uh, individuals and entities all over the world are building on an ad, on advancing Tezos. Okay, well that makes sense because how do you grow without building? Want to get started? Okay, so this is for developers interested in exploring Tezos for business, nonprofit, or government use. Reach out. Okay, so yeah, see this wouldn't be for you know this isn't something that's built for like end users or for like people like you and I. This is built for developers and obviously businesses and government agencies and stuff like that so um all right guys so you know now that we've uh now that we've got a pretty good idea i'd say of uh you know what tezos is all about you know let me know if you guys have any other questions about the project i mean i'm no expert obviously none of us are but i'll do some more research and do my best to explain and also guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to learn more about more of these crypto projects with me in the future, because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on these, then feel free to check out the altcoin education playlist that's linked in the pinned comment below this video. And with that said, you guys, thanks for watching and learning with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.